it's absolutely terrifying. I mean, it's just sad that our children are no longer safe in their own home. The kidnapping attempt took place last Thursday with Kingsport Police arresting the suspect. Drive when the 58-year-old pulled his car into the driveway, got out and attempted to grab the child. Welcome to Explore the Unknown. Thanks for stopping by and if you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and welcome to our channel. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. We love seeing you. And I want to say thank you also for continued support for our channel and viewing our videos. We do appreciate it very much. And if you'd like, please make sure to support us by hitting the like button, the subscribe, as well as the bell. Now let's get into this case. Now while giving your kids their, when they get old enough, responsibility for doing chores around the house and outside, like cleaning up and such, it should be safe, especially in your home and in the house. Well, this one mother sent her 12 year old son outside to mow the lawn, thinking nothing of it that he's done this before in the past, having no problems or issues. But this day was different for this particular 12 year old boy who was just doing his chores like he had done before. We have been keeping up with the Summer Wells case and in doing so, this case popped up. This happened in Kingsport, Tennessee. This man was trying to kidnap this 12 year old boy when he was just trying to mow the lawn. The boy was mowing a lawn in the 3900 block of Skyland Drive when the 58-year-old pulled his car into the driveway, got out and attempted to grab the child. I chased him into his garage, through his garage. The child got into the house and then the subject actually tried to gain entry into the house forcibly, but was ultimately unsuccessful on doing that. Him, telling him, come here, boy. The boy ran into the garage for safety and he went into the house and told his mother, and the suspect had ran after him through the garage. Then the suspect tried to get into the house. The boy's mom had locked the doors already and told him to leave or she's going to call the police, even though she did call the police. This man ran away before the police had arrived. The boy was not hurt or injured in any way. He was just shaken and scared. Later, they caught the suspect. His name is Tony M. Hammonds. He's a 58 year old man. They did charge him with attempted aggravated kidnapping, aggravated burglary, and simple assault. Now Hammonds was also charged for violating his probation related to a previous theft conviction. Now Hammond was taken and arrested. He does remain in the Kingsport City Jail pending his arraignment and he's not eligible for any bond. A neighbor said that she had gotten chills when she saw the incident unfold right in front of her. Right. Neighbors, especially those with kids, fear for the safety of their children. It's absolutely terrifying. I mean, it's just sad that our children are no longer safe in their own home. The kidnapping attempt took place last Thursday. I was playing in the front yard and I saw the maroon car drive past and the guy looked at me and I saw him pulling into my neighbor's driveway and he was there a few, what I would say a few minutes. And she was across the street with her own kids playing outside in her front yard. She saw the suspect drive past. He did look at her and then he pulled into her neighbor's driveway. Thinking nothing of it, she had went inside to get ready and to go to the store. And so she left. But as she got back, the police were there and Maria Guzman, the neighbor, said she had asked her neighbor what had happened and her neighbor told her that there was an attempted kidnapping of her son. Guzman said that her kids love to play out in the front yard, but now they are going to stick in the backyard from now on. The police said they believe this is an isolated incident. They have no basis on anything other than this incident. Tom Patton, the police officer, 
explain that attempted kidnappings are rare and do not usually involve children or strangers, as this case happened on Skyland Drive. A complete stranger attempts to abduct a child almost as unheard of and very rarely happens in Kingsport, he said. Patton also said that parents need to keep an eye out for their children while playing and being out and teach them to not talk to strangers and to come inside just like this 12 year old boy did. But the fear is still there on Skyland Drive and it's sad that children are not safe in their own yard and home just doing their chores. When they arrested Hammonds, there was another person with him at the time in the vehicle, but they did not arrest the person because they believe they did not know what Hammond was going to do at the time. Tom Patton advises the parents to learn from this incident and take care when the kids are playing outside, he said. The scare is very real and upsetting to know that your child cannot even go outside to do mowing safely or their chores. Now, Tom Patton stated they do not believe that the Hammond attempt crime for the boy does not have anything to do with missing Summer Wells case from the neighboring Hoskins County. Penn also said they are operating this as an isolated incident for kidnapping. They do not have any reason to believe that this case is connected to the Summer Wells case. The police still are not sure what the motive was for Hammond to try to kidnap this 12 year old boy. They are very unsure why he wanted to do that. He does remain behind bars without bail. So what do you think guys? Could Hammond be responsible for Summer being missing? The King's Port is not very far from Hawkins. It's only 30 minutes away. Well, let me know what you guys think. Be kind and respectful in the comments guys. And of course, I will always keep you up posted on what's going on. And thank you for being here with me and watching. Until next time, bye.